Hey, what's going on everyone? Matt Saletti again. I want to show you a cool little trick today. This one involves some of the stuff we cover in the Dubspot online school for the sound design and synthesis class. So, one of the great things is we show you how to tweak samples inside a battery and just create these weird glitchy kind of funky kits. One way you can obviously do this is to use a field recorder and go around and sample random things. But if you don't have the luxury of having one of these and you have a smartphone, iPhone, Android, there is a great free app from SoundCloud that you can go in and using the mic on the, the phone, which is actually pretty decent, um, go in, bang around on stuff, it'll upload right to your SoundCloud, and then you can just download it, convert it, throw it in battery, and just destroy and mangle the sound. So this is the kind of thing we teach you guys in uh, the sound design synthesis class, and I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek here. Check this out. So the first thing we're gonna do is just find a sample. Uh, main sample I'm going to work with is just a shot like this with my mouse and you'll see how many different ways we can make sound out of it. So first I'll come to my little widget. If I hit record, it loads up SoundCloud and all I have to do is hit record and then hit the sound. Now from here we can save it. I can call it mouse upload and it's going to upload to SoundCloud. Now that we've recorded our samples with the phone, all we have to do is log into our SoundCloud account to access the files. So as you can see, everything I've recorded, the five different uh, samples are all in here. We can audition them or we can just go ahead and download them right away. Now this little icon allows you to download and the only bummer about this is that SoundCloud downloads everything in Og Vorbis format and I can't figure out a way to get it to download to WAV files so we have a quick fix that we're gonna have to do after we download all these. Basically I'm gonna come right to Audacity. Audacity is a free audio editor that you can download for Mac or PC um, and it'll allow you to actually just convert these files. I just double click, load it in, and I can convert this file. So we're going to convert it to WAV. First we're going to clean it up. So I'd ask you really quickly, you can come in here and just clean up the file. And then we're going to save it, export it as a WAV. I'm going to call this one mouse. So once we've done this for all our files, all we have to do is open up battery. Okay, so we've got battery open. We've converted all of our files in Audacity. And first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna load up my little nice blank template here and we're just gonna start dragging and dropping sounds. So let's start with that mouse hit. Bring him in. Now, one of the first things you can do with battery is maybe adjust the start and ends. You can do this in the cell, you can do this in the wave tab. Um, we're gonna go right in the cell tab and tweak this out a little. That's gonna give me that nice quick attack. And that sounds good to me. So what I'm gonna do now is actually make a variation of this. Right click and you can copy the cell and then just paste it to another cell. So this guy we can get a little further with. Maybe we want to tune him down. Maybe I want to use the pitch envelope. Get a real nice sharp laser attack or mangle it. So I like that one with a little snappy attack. And let's make one more here. Take my original. Copy, paste. And this guy, we're going to destroy using the loop tab. First, let's maybe add some emulation. We can always reverse if we want. I'm going to use the sampling mode of the Kai MP60. MPC60. Adds a little more dirt grit to it. 
And then let's go to the loop function. So if I turn the loop on, we can have it loop. But if we get crazy here and shorten the length and move it around, get kind of a cool synth sound. Actually, this would be great for <laughs> to use in a production. So it's cool buzzy. Three variations right away of a, of a nice kind of a snare sound. So let's go in and grab that guitar case. Now this is going to be kind of the beginning of our kick sound. I'm going to come in here with the volume envelope and cut off some of that unwanted. And let's use some effects on him. So actually we'll duplicate him. I always like to kind of get a nice bass, and then I'll make variations from there. And with battery, you're not limited really by the amount of cells, so you can create a huge thing, just make tons of variations of each sound. So if you mess up, you know, you always have originals and weirdo ones. <laughs> so this one, we're going to add some little kind of Game Boy Lo-Fi Bit Crusher. I'm going to add a little saturation to it. Same with this guy. So we can get in here with these effects. And really just tweak the sound however we like. Now lastly, let's go find a nice little shaker sound from my sandal shaker. And we're gonna go in. And this is gonna be my kind of hi-hat sound. He needs a little extra oomph. Perfect, so we're getting there, we're getting there. All right, next I'm gonna make some crazy kind of sound. So we're gonna bring him in. And that's the sound of the tractor audio 10 dropping on the floor. Don't worry, those things are robust. Made of all aluminum, very nice. We're gonna take him. Whoops. And watch this guy. There we go. That's what I wanted. All right, let's make it even nastier. Beautiful. Now, next thing I want to do, I'm going to select all the cells right here, and I'm going to turn down my delay and reverb sends. So the reason we want to do this is because we just want to activate specific sounds. So when I want to add a reverb to that guy, we're going to go in. I'm going to put on a nice big convolution reverb. Let's try this medium hall. And we're going to go in and turn up the reverb. Now, when you're doing sound design, always watch your clipping here. And let's see, on the shaker, I want to go in and add a delay. So let's do a little extra feedback, a little more return. And then on this guy.
This guy needs some love too. I'm going to tune him down. Watch your clipping. And we are going to add some. Exactly. So we're sort of getting there. Obviously, I'm going to spend a lot more time. Obviously, I'm going to go out and find some more samples, but you get the idea, you know, this is kind of what we do. We're going to teach you how to take all these things, use all the tools inside of the uh, battery, inside of uh, any of the complete instruments, and you'll actually get a real deep appreciation for some quick, dirty sound design. So hopefully you enjoyed that and uh, take your phone out and capture sounds in the world and see what you get. All right. Peace. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.